Behind every locked door is a story waiting to be uncovered. This is Hidden Killers with Tony Bruschi, featuring psychotherapist and author Siobhan Scott. The case against Alec Murdaugh, the chance of him getting a new trial, it is very, very real. The South Carolina Supreme Court going to be ruling on that well, relatively shortly. We don't know the exact date, but it is uh, on their docket. It's all about jury tampering. And, of course, that leads us back to Becky Hill. The initial allegations that we heard of the jury tampering were that she was making comments uh, about what to listen for to the jury uh, uh, prior to their uh, deliberations. Some jurors say they never heard it. One says, yeah, definitely heard it. But there's another juror that never got to be back there for that part. That's juror number 785. And it adds a whole new layer of uh, complications to uh, this case in terms of uh, Alec Murdaugh's conviction sticking. Joining me to discuss, Siobhan Scott, psychotherapist and author. The accusations are that uh, the whole Facebook post that uh, Becky Hill brought up to Judge Clifton Newman saying, look, her ex-husband posted this and they must have had a conversation. It never existed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's just one layer of strange again with Becky Hill. Um, if this is true that she fabricated this, somebody really intoxicated with her own sense of power, which is terrible. Is let's talk about that. Someone that that is was pulling the strings like this, um, or attempting to pull the strings like this. Uh, the The allegation goes that that Judge Clifton Newman did see the post, uh, but they went back, they looked, and and the ex husband, and then also the juror seven eight five Maya Crosby. There is no record of this post ever existing or being deleted. So that would make one have to assume almost that maybe she made a fake account, Becky made a fake account and then this is just a guess you know and then showed that to judge clifton newman it would take ten, all of 10 minutes to do that exactly. um and make someone you know think that if you don't look at it very closely or you're just not familiar with how facebook works exactly um you could fake it very easily um yep. when someone's going to those sort of lengths i'm going to guess this probably isn't just an isolated incident with someone like no, definitely not. You know, human behavior, that's why we have psychology. It follows patterns. And so this, again, just the, just the fact that she wanted to write a book, did write a book, self-published it, um, about the trial, she really saw herself as a, a very important player in it. And that would be something that I think is a long-term character trait for her, which is really awful. I mean, obviously, a lot of people, you know, very much invested in the Alec Murdoch trial, uh, very much digging into it. And if you're right there, I would imagine that you are, too, to a, a, a probably a more extreme extent. Um, that's what I'm wondering about here is, you know, she did this for for Alec Murdoch. But, you know, was she, was she doing this in other cases as right. well, where she had already made up her mind and she was going to pull her strings and not be detected because she had that kind of persona of, oh, everybody loves her. It's Becky. Here mm -hmm, she is. And mm -hmm. you can trust her. She's just this. I mean, when you look at her, you don't think like, oh, my God, she's like influencing the courts. Yeah. But it is scary. The power that that clerk of court wields. Yes, exactly. And and there's enough evidence, I think, that that she should be looked at closely. And is there a pattern with other jurors? And would people come forward and, and talk about it? I mean, it would be wonderful if there was more information. It makes me wonder more about cases where jurors are dismissed. Obviously, it happens. There's plenty of legit reasons for this to happen. But uh, it does make me wonder if sometimes it's happening too fast where there's just mm -hmm. there's an inkling of and they got to keep moving because they got to keep the trial moving. So there's not a ton of time to investigate. But it does make me wonder sometimes just how easy it is to tip that scale if you're someone who is in the right position, like the clerk of court would be to have an idea where that jury is at. You have an idea, uh, it, depending how involved you are and what you're paying attention to on what one may be thinking about, what what one's persuasion may be on something. And all you really got to do is just kind of tap on that scale a little bit. And then they go, Oh my gosh, there's something, something's up here. Uh, we, okay. We have the alternate now come in. That's a great way to influence a trial because the allegations are, is that Myra Crosby, uh, egg lady here wasn't so convinced that Alex was guilty. 
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, you're right. It would be really easy to tip the scales by just a little bit of manipulation on on who gets to be on the jury. Is that something that needs to be paid more attention to? I think it's one of those things in our institutions where for so long we've just trusted that people are doing the right thing. And, and I would imagine as a whole, they probably are. I, I'm, probably I'm guessing are. these are fairly mm-hmm. small incidents, but it's out there. And and, yeah. and I just wonder how many other cases, how many other times things like this have happened and we've just been kind of oblivious to it because we are believing that the person in power is doing the right thing. I mean, we see it all the time with police work where we believe that should things are going the right way and they're really not. Yeah, I think I think when it comes to um, really important, you know, law enforcement, the court system, these institutions that affect people's lives in such incredibly intense, dramatic ways, we need to be looking at all of it, you know, even judges. We need mm-hmm. to be looking at judges, um, you know, because, you know, at certain trials, attorneys can predict, you know, well, if you get that judge, mm-hmm. it's going to go better for this kind of perpetrator. If you get that judge in a div- heard that so many times yeah. in divorce. So that judge always favors the woman and yeah. this one always favors the man. It's like, it's supposed to be fair, Yeah. but I think humans being the way they are, people have their biases, their prejudices, and it's, it's certainly not always fair. Well, I mean, we're we're talking about. I mean, the these systems exist as a checks and balances for society, for for us as humans out here in a civilized society. But what I think we're seeing is there's not a lot of checks and balances for the, that system itself exactly. to to make sure that it is working correctly, and that can get off pretty fast. I mean, I, you could go endlessly, I guess. Well, then it means to check and balance for the system on top of that. Sure, there does, but we need. It, it feels like we've we've kind of gotten into a spot where where there's a lot of uh, a lot of issues in in our systems because of the lack of accountability and the lack of check and balances uh, with those in power. Yeah, one hundred percent. And if you want to take it up, uh, you know, there are all the allegations about improper behavior on the Supreme Court yeah. now that we hear about. Um, and so I I think yeah, these are important important systems to have checks and balances and some kind of monitoring going on. All right, true crime addicts, let's cut the crap. You're knee deep in the gory details of your favorite podcast when suddenly a commercial hits like a bad meal. Seriously? You deserve better. Upgrade to True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts, where you can binge without those annoying ads. Plus, get extended interviews that go deeper into the darkness and early access to episodes so you can be the first to know. It's like trading up from fast food to fine dining, but with more blood. So go ahead, search for True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts, subscribe, and feast on the good stuff.